All right, guys, so in this video, I'm just going to show you uh, the difference of when a Garg is fired up and fired down, um, and basically what that pretty much means. Um, so as you can see right here, this is blood, spl blood splatter, and she is fired up. So fired up is when they're darkest. Okay, that's when they're going to have... Um, if it's a white garg, it will have the black in their pattern. If it has a uh, base color, it'll be, you know, red like her or whatever color the base is. Um, so fired up is when they're the darkest, when they have um, technically like the most amount of color on them. And typically the least contrast as well between their pattern color and their background color. So, um... I'm just, as you can see, I just took her out right now. Um, so she is going to start actually firing down uh, throughout the video. And you can kind of actually notice already that her pattern is getting more defined because that red base is going away. Um, so this is what happens, at least for, uh, well, every garg is different. Um, some of them will be fired up when you take them out. Some of them will be fired up when there's... Um, in their enclosures she will be fired up in her enclosure but once I take her out um, she starts firing down now firing up and firing down it really doesn't mean much because um, every garg is different so sometimes they're fired up uh, when they're sleeping and they fire down when they're awake sometimes they'll change Whenever you spray their enclosures, sometimes they'll change if it's daytime versus nighttime. Um, sometimes they'll change when you take them out. It just basically differs from each garg um, and their personality. So it doesn't mean if one doesn't fire down, it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong. Um, I've had a lot that won't fire down um, or never fire up. And it's rare if you ever do see them that way. So it doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong or anything like that. It's just each Garg has a different personality for that. Um, but it's something really cool to actually see in person. Um, to see the differences between them. You know, a lot of people think chameleons and that type of stuff, you know, are the ones that change in colors. But in reality, a lot of different geckos... Um, go through those same color changes between fired up and fired down. And this is something, too, that if you can, whenever you're purchasing a guard, try to see both um, sides to them. Try to see one fired up. Try to see one uh, a picture of them fired down. That way it can give you a good idea of what their pattern actually looks like. Fired down is going to be more um, a contrast between their what is actually their pattern and just their background color. And then fire it up, you get to see a lot more like the black or if you want to find a red base, you know, you get to see if it has a red base, that type of stuff. Um, because fire down, this girl is pretty much completely white in between all that color. Um, so you could tell uh, just from taking her out, she has fired down a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to give her a minute and then I'll... Uh, I'll come back to the video when she's fully fired down. So it's been about 20 minutes, and this is where she's at right now. Um, she will actually still get even whiter in between her color and everything. If you want to see a good pictures of that, I'm sure I have some on my Instagram. Um, but so this is just to show you guys, you know, how gargoyles are when they fire it up, fire down. It doesn't mean you're doing anything wrong or anything like that. If they're one way or the other, it just comes down to that individual garg's personality. However, I will say the one thing that's important to do is if you are purchasing a garg, make sure, if possible, get pictures of both. Of uh, have the breeder, or whoever's selling it, send you a picture of the garg fired up and fired down. The reason being is. It gives you a good idea of um, how it actually looks in both states. Just because when a Gorg is fired up, that's when the, like she would have all that red base. It's harder to tell what is her actual pattern 
versus what is just that red base. So it's important to get both pictures so that way you know exactly how much pattern is on here because at the end of the day that's the main way that they're priced is how much of this pattern um, they have. So it's important to get both because like I was saying the base can sometimes cover up um, how much pattern they actually have. So you don't want to <clears throat> you don't want to overpay um, for a guard because when it's fired up it looks like it has a ton of color you know it's covered but when it's fired down there's only a little bit of co color left so that is one little piece of advice if you're buying a garg that isn't you know a tiny little baby try to get both um both versions of them if possible get one fired up get one fired down that way you can see what's really um there but this is just a little showcase of what goes on um, thanks for watching. Uh, like I said, if you experience this with your gargs, some won't ever fire down, some won't ever fire up. And uh, if they are fired down or fired up or switched throughout the day or when you take them out, doesn't mean you're doing necessarily anything wrong. Uh, it's just to each gecko's personality. But it's just another little cool thing that um, these animals will do is be able to change color to the point where you might not even recognize if you put two pictures next to each other you might not even recognize that it would be the same gecko but thanks for watching guys um uh, like always just give me a follow on instagram you'll see more of some of the other geckos that i have with red bases or fired up fire down all that type of stuff but um i appreciate the sport and everything from everyone um, and if you do have any other ideas for videos or anything, just make sure to uh, drop a comment or shoot me a message, whatever uh, works. All right, thanks.